Hey guys, it's Saria. Welcome back to my channel. Today's DIY is going to be my Halloween costume, the whole thing. So the costume, which you, I know you can't see the whole thing, um, and then how I did that, and then also it includes the makeup and the hair. I know the hair is not that great. I was planning on wearing a wig, but the one that came wasn't really the right color, and the bangs were too long, and then when I trimmed them, I accidentally made them baby doll bangs, and that looked weird, so... I decided to kind of do Ariel's hairstyle, and then on Halloween I'm going to spray my hair um, gray, white-ish kind of thing. Um, but I don't have that stuff yet, so <laughs> you get what you get. Um, <laughs> I did want to post this though because I know Halloween is right around the corner. If you're looking for a last minute costume, this might be something doable for you, just from stuff in your closet, slash a tutu but you might have one of those in your closet. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. If you haven't, please subscribe. I make DIY videos at least once a week, sometimes twice a week. Um, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you are notified every time a new video goes up. And also make sure you check out my most recent video, which was a big announcement. Ah! Um, it's really... I don't know. I think it's super cute. Me and my husband and my daughter are in it, so I'll link that below in case you want to check it out. Um, yeah, but basically, so for Halloween, we decided to be villains. My daughter asked to be Maleficent, so I made her costume, and that DIY is also coming out. Um, and then my husband is Gaston. I just bought his costume because it was cheaper to buy that on Amazon than to buy the pieces to make it. And then I decided to be Ursula. So we will be Disney villains this Halloween. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so I basically bought a purple long sleeve shirt and a purple tutu from Amazon. Um, I got a light purple shirt to be kind of like her skin and dark purple for underneath her tentacles. Then I got this black multi-way dress and basically tied it into a strapless dress. This is kind of difficult, like you have to practice getting it um, how you want it, but the more times you do it, the easier it becomes. You really need a mirror for this. <laughs> um, if you can do this with that one, I'm just, I'm so impressed because I cannot. Um, and they basically wrap it around and then tie it in a knot in the back and then kind of adjust the fabric however you need it to cover yourself. Um, I also have a Ursula necklace that I got from Hot Topic um, that I'm adding onto this. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this multi-way dress to look like tentacles so that you can see the tutu popping out. So you can do this with scissors. I tried it, but I didn't like how like jagged my cuts came out um so if i was going to do this i would go a lot slower and then i hung my dress up and then cut upward um, to make kind of the tentacle shape which is basically like a squiggly really awkward triangle <laughs> um so then i laid it down on my cutting mat and as you can see i can't cut a straight line with scissors i just can't so i took my rotary blade and um, you can get these at walmart hobby lobby um and with the coupon it's not super expensive uh, but then I just went ahead and smoothed out the edges on the first tentacle that I had cut. Um, and then I go ahead and go in and cut the rest of them. So I am going to show you. Um, I started by cutting upward, but actually I ended up cutting downward later on, and that was easier. So I kind of cut up, and I didn't need it to be perfect. I just kind of cut up like a triangle, I guess. And then this is where I messed up. Do not do this. So I have this extra strip that I needed to get rid of and I curved my cut on just this one tentacle and it looks so bad. Like honestly, it just doesn't look right. The best thing you can do is create a point between the tentacles. It looks a lot more like Ursula. Um, it doesn't look so awkward. So anyway, then I flipped it and I started cutting from the top and it was so much easier. You can literally see how much faster I'm going now. Um, and yeah, I would just like curve down toward the bottom, make a point, and then scoot over a few inches and then curve down and meet the point that I had made. The good thing is that these don't need to be perfect because they're tentacles. Um, make sure you're counting them out though, because obviously you really only want to have eight. And if you end up with like nine, you have to awkwardly like cut one off. <laughs> so this is the final product of what the costume looked like when I was done. Um, Right here, you can see kind of where I made that mistake with how I cut the identical, but the back of the dress actually turned out really good. So as long as you follow my advice, yours can turn out great too. 
So for the makeup, I started by pushing my hair back with the first pair of ears that I ever made. <laughs> you can check out that tutorial, by the way. All right, so I started off with a primer. This is just a trial bottle that I got of the um, Benefit Poreless Primer, the Lumi one. And then I pat it into the spots where I feel like I have bigger pores, and then I just rub it in on the rest of my face. Um, primer is really important if you're going to want to be wearing this makeup for a while. I'm going to be wearing this all day at school on Wednesday, so I want to make sure my makeup lasts. Um, then I realized that I didn't have the brush that I needed, <laughs> so I grabbed one of my e.l.f. eyeshadow brushes. These are like a dollar. And then I took my Ben Nye Ultralight Highlighter. This is um, actually for highlighting, but I really wanted to pale my skin up, so I used this all over my face. Um, I'm a theater teacher, so I do use a lot of Ben Nye products just because it's like a really popular theater makeup brand, but you can buy this on Amazon as well as I get mine from Nor Costco. Um, but anyway, I just covered my face in this ultra light color, and then I went in with my uh, makeup sponge and blended it. I used the Real Techniques. It's got such a long name, but I used the Real Techniques Orange one. <laughs> um, then I went in over my nose. The nose is probably the hardest part just because I love Ben Nye, but their cream products do move a lot. You ha Oh, I did not show this later on, by the way, but um, you have to powder down these cream products, or they will move like hours and hours later. You'll still be able to smudge them off your face. Um so make sure you do have a really good powder. I use the Airspun, the Cody Airspun powder for setting. It's really good and really cheap. Anyway, um, so then I went in on my forehead. My forehead blended so much easier than everything else. Like, look, I'm done. Um, <laughs> so now that that's done, I went ahead and blended this down my neck. Um, that's very important if you're going to really go like a few shades lighter than your natural skin tone because otherwise your neck is going to be like way tanner, which looks weird. And then I did the same on my chin. And now I need to do the other side of my face. So now that I've done that, I'm going back in with a little bit more highlight in the spots where I tend to have a lot of redness. And then I am bringing it down my neck on the other side, which I forgot to kind of bring it onto my ears. I need to make sure I do that when I do this again. Um... So now I'm going in with just my chapstick. I use Burt's Bees chapstick because I have super dry lips. And then going in and highlighting the bridge of my nose. And I'm actually doing a really wide highlight because I'm trying to make my nose appear like shorter and wider because that's kind of what Ursula's nose is like. So now I'm taking this purple, I think it's lilac, and it's a Ben Nye cream makeup. And I'm loading my brush up and going in to contour. I spent a lot of time on the contour and just building, 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 building. I am not super experienced with cream products, even though I do have a lot of these Ben Nye cream products. Um, I like them a lot, but at the same time, when it comes to my daily makeup, I usually use powders. So now I'm going in with a much darker purple. It was a lot darker than I was expecting. And I'm blending that with my finger. I did find that blending this stuff with my finger ended up being kind of the best um, tool. Sure. Um, so now I'm going on the other side and adding this in. The key to this just ended up being building it. Like I had a lot easier time creating my contour line on my other side. I'm not sure why, but <laughs> I guess it's my good side. And then I just went in and started deepening it up. And I kind of switched back and forth between using the light purple and the dark purple with whatever I felt like I needed. And then I did the same on my temples. The good news is, is if you end up kind of putting it in a place you don't want, like I did right there, you can go in with your ultralight again and kind of cover it up. I also use this ultralight as my highlighter on my cheekbones. I just added more of it. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is taking so long. I really did this a lot, and I actually end up adding even more at the end of the video because I wanted some extreme purple contour. All right, so now I'm going in with my concealer, and at this point I realized that I should have done this first because it's kind of orangier than this pale color that I put all over my skin. So when I go back again and do this, and also I just realized that I wish I'd done my eyeshadow first. <laughs> This is why I'm not a makeup artist. Anyway, so I'm going to show you how to do the eyeshadow. I started with my eyeshadow primer. It's Milani Drugstore, of course. And then I'm starting with my Princess palette from ColourPop. And I'm using Chip 
on a big fluffy eyeshadow brush from Morphe. Mine don't have numbers because I got them in like a Christmas set and for some reason they don't put the numbers on the brushes when they do that. But anyway, I'm just covering up my whole eye with that chip color to set my primer and set a nice base for the rest of the super colorful colors I'm about to put on. So now I'm taking my BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette, which is super colorful, <laughs> and I'm starting off with this purpley color called Swag. I'm taking a fluffy blending brush, and I'm starting, oh, by the way, be really good at tapping the excess off if you have this palette, because it does kind of um, make a mess. All right, blend it really good into the crease, and just build the color slowly. And I'm just using windshield wiper motions and occasionally making like little tiny circles on the outer end of my eye. So now just make sure that you blend it up toward your eyebrow. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with this darker purple that's called Wicked and it actually has a little bit of like uh, indigo colored glitter. I decided to use the same brush because I don't have that many eyeshadow brushes <laughs> and blend this in kind of the same way I did with the first color but not bringing it up as high toward my eyebrow. I am bringing these really far in because I wanted to go for like a really dramatic villain eyeshadow look. Normally I would not bring my eyeshadows this far into my eye but that's okay. All right, so now I'm taking a smaller blending brush and I start with this blue color that I can't remember the name of right now. And I started blending it into my crease, trying to really keep it tight to the crease, but this brush was a little too big. So I grabbed another blending brush that's kind of flat, used that same blue color, and then went in and started uh, windshield wiper motions <laughs> to get it all over my crease. This I also got on my lid, which is totally fine. Um, don't be worried about making a mess on your lid because you're actually going to go in with a concealer in a little bit and clean it up. And then do the same on the other side and make sure to get a little extra product on the outside of your eyes to emphasize them. All right, so now I just went back in with my previous blending brush and grabbed some more of that wicked purple color and I'm just blending the edges of the blue into the purple. So I went and grabbed a concealer that I don't love. It's actually the Better Skin Maybelline concealer. Um, it's not great for under my eyes but it does work really well for this. So I put it on my lid almost like what you do to make a cut crease and I just covered up my lid in concealer and then I went into this palette and grabbed this really light blue glitter color. Glitter, it's more of a shimmer. And then patted that all over my lid. I don't like using brushes on my lid. I've tried every type of flat brush that I have found, but I really do feel like just using my finger is so much more effective. And then I'm doing the same on the other eye. So just dotting some concealer on my eye and then going in and blending it with my finger. and then grabbing that light blue color and putting it all over. I wish that this blue was a little bit less green because it's kind of like a blue-green, like oceany color, which is nice, but I do wish it was a little bit more true blue. So I went in with that darker blue again and really started emphasizing the outer corner of my eye. And I grabbed that flat blending brush. All right, so now I'm just wiping away any fallout. This is one of the biggest reasons I wish I had done this first. It actually wasn't that bad, but I still wish I'd done it first. Going back in with my concealer again and blending that out with my finger. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my eyeliner. I just used the e.l.f. liquid liner in black and just lined my eye. I didn't do like a major wing or anything like that. I just went in and lined from the inner corner of my eye all the way to the outer corner of my eye.
All right, so now I'm grabbing some more of that ultralight and just adding anywhere that I feel like I'm red or maybe a little discolored or something. <laughs> so now I'm going in with more purple. I have no idea why the lighting changed. Like, it's the exact same time that I was filming. I don't know what happened. Anyway, going back in with the darker purple and just really trying to exaggerate the contour. I love doing extreme makeups for Halloween because, like, when else can I show up to work like this? I mean, I guess I'm a theater teacher. I could probably do it whenever, but I'm going to get weird looks. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to curl my lashes and add a coat of mascara. I use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. And then do the same on the other side. And then while that dries, I'm taking this red uh, lip liner and lining my lips. I went a little bit outside the line of my lips, but barely because I tend to look ridiculous when I do that. So I really tried to follow the, my natural line as much as I could and then did the same on the bottom. I had to have a lip liner because my red lipstick, no matter what I use, is going to go outside the lips. And then I'm so excited. I got to use my ColourPop Snow White red lipstick, which was perfect cleaned it up a little bit, and then I'm going in with this Wet n Wild red lip gloss. It's kind of like a lip topper. And then just did a layer of that over the lipstick. So now I'm adding a little bit more purple to my contour because, I mean, I just, I don't know. I guess I just became obsessed. <laughs> and I added a little bit more to my temples. And now I'm going to go in and do some fake lashes. These are the Ardell Faux Mink lashes. So I actually like to take my scissors. I have to trim them down to my eye size, which I kind of have memorized. But then I also cut them in half. As you can see here, like it's only the outer half of the lash. And then I apply glue just to that part, do the outside, and then I do the inside afterward. So now that my lashes are all on, I'm going in with more purple and doing my jawline. I did bring mine up a little bit too high. Make sure that you don't make it look like um, like five o'clock shadow, like purple five o'clock shadow. <laughs> and then I went in on the top of my forehead and did the same thing. I felt like I was too pale, so I needed to add a little bit of color back in. So I decided to add purple. All right, so now I'm going to go in and do my lower lash line, and I just took this pencil brush, and I'm just going to go in the, kind of the same order. So I'm going to grab that light purple color and bring it all over the bottom of my eye. That sounded weird, but yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I'm being careful not to get it, like, everywhere, but just bringing it in toward the inner corner and then making it kind of blend with the upper half of my eyeshadow. Then I'm grabbing that Wicked color, the darker purple, and I had to kind of pat this one on because it does have glitter in it and I didn't want it to get all over my cream makeup that I haven't set yet. <laughs> and now I'm going in with that blue color and just doing the very outer corner of my eye. And same thing, this one has a little bit of glitter in it too so I made sure to kind of pat it. And now I'm just going in and blending my under eye with my beauty sponge and that is pretty much it for the makeup. So now I'm just going to mess around with my hair because I had no idea what I wanted to do. Um, so I start off by taking sections of my hair and teasing it up. Um, I kind of thought I wanted to do like a big swoop and then do like a bun on the side, but I have really thin hair and so my bun kind of didn't show up and I just looked like that episode of Parks and Rec where Leslie Nope gets a haircut and she kind of looks like a guy. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? It's fine. That's what I feel like I look like. But anyway, teasing my hair up and swooping it to one side. And then I kind of gathered it into like a poof. <laughs> and then I took some of my uh, bobby pins that I keep in a Tic Tac container and pinned it in place. And then I started pulling the hair to the side so that it was a kind of all going the same direction. And then I pinned it in place, which these pins are going to get taken out after I hairspray it. 
Um, and then I pulled my hair to one side and started like rolling it into a bun on the side of my head. I, did, I just didn't love how this ended up looking, but it also might look better on some of you. So I don't know. I left it in. <laughs> and then I pinned my bun into place. And then I went in with some hairspray and cleaned up all the fuzz, which to be truthful, I, if I do this on Wednesday or something like this, I'm going to end up using a curling iron on my hair or a curling wand. Um, but my hair was just kind of its natural curls at this point. So. so then I pinned it in place again on the back and then put some hairspray in so I could, I could take those bobby pins out. And then I decided I didn't really like this. <laughs> so I took the bun out. And kind of combed through my waves and just started playing with the top of my hair. I literally am just like, I don't even know. I'm just like teasing it up and trying things because I'm like, I don't really know what I want this to look like. So I pinned the back of my hair to kind of make it look all pushed to one side. And I did like this, but it I just, without the gray hairspray, I was just like, I don't know if, if this reminds me of Ursula. I have no idea. So then I had this look going and then I decided to like take this back section and tease that up too because it was bothering me how flat it was, which did help a little bit. <laughs> and then I ended up taking um, kind of like my bang section and twisting it a little bit and like pinning it to the side, which kind of gave me that aerial swoop bang, you know, the famous aerial bang. Um, which I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting, like doing kind of Ariel's hairstyle for an Ursula costume. I don't know. And then I unpinned the back of my hair and pulled my hair forward. And that was pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and check out some of my other videos. I'll see you next week. Bye.